In this demonstration of space claim, I'll show you how I can make tooling uh, necessary for creating this stamped part. It's actually very simple to do, and I'll be working most of the time in a surface mode. So to start off, I need to, and, and I'm only going to show you how to do one half of this, because you could easily extrapolate and figure out how to do the other half the exact same way. Now for starters, all I'm doing is selecting all the faces on one half of this model and using a tremendously useful Windows shortcut copy and paste to take all those surfaces or faces and turn them into surface bodies. Now those that's going to be the starting point of what I use um, to make the tooling for this. I need to establish the runoff surfaces um, on all four sides of this. Now I like to use another Windows shortcut. I shift select between a couple of edges and space claim lets me select all of them at once. Now let's start pulling those out because I want you to see what happens when you take complex surfaces, extend them, the ends don't always extend quite the same distance and maybe things don't always join together between the edges as you would expect. And I'll show you the second uh, a little bit later. So let's just undo that for a moment and one trick I like to use in Space Claim is to only select a couple edges, maybe every other one for a little ways extend those out and then it's very simple to extend the rest of them uh, one by one. I, I, mean, I have the ability to take edges and snap them up to endpoints so that clearly gives me the correct distance and location that I'm looking for. Now over here it's a little bit different uh, between these two surfaces but with the pull tool we make it very simple. It's simple to loft between a couple of edges and create a brand new surface all while maintaining the continuity of the surfaces. All right, let's transition over to the other side. And similarly, I'll try to use that window shortcut to shift select and grab everything. Now what I found on this edge is that I can easily select all these, uh, extend them all out in unison, but I only have one edge that's quasi problematic. It extends a little too far but too short on, on the right hand side. So an easy way to remedy that would be still staying in this pull tool, extend the edge beyond where it needs to go and then trim it back. And we let you do that with ease with a split solid tool. There's a lot of ways to split a face. I'm just selecting two endpoints around which to split it. And I'm done. The delete key gets rid of the excess and that's all I need. I've, I've taken both edges of the sides and extended those out exactly one inch. And you could extend them out whatever distance of interest it is for you to make your tool and your runoff. Now let's go through that similar procedure over here. Again, I like to grab maybe every other edge and extend those out about as far as I think they can go. You'll see over towards the left hand side the edges start coming together very closely so that's maybe somewhat of a limitation for now as to how far I want to go. Let's clean up the right hand area. I've got a face over here that I could extend a bit further. We'll go ahead and pull on that and it's okay if it's well uh, a lot further than I want. Um, but over here, there's this notch, this cutout, and this is one of my favorite tools in Space Claim. It gives you the ability to simplify geometry, to take the that cutout, turn it into a chamfer, use that fill tool again, and now I've got a perfectly clean edge uh, that I can pull on and actually snap up to an endpoint and get exactly what I'm looking for. And I could extend those as far as I want, but let's go back into lofting a couple of edges together just by alt selecting an edge in between, I get a perfect loft of those edges. And we'll do it one more time right over here. I alt select an edge and it's that simple to do. And I've got the contour of the edges, the contour of the surfaces maintained perfectly. Now I mentioned a minute ago what happens sometimes if you try to drag too many things at once. When I drag these three edges together, not only do they extend at different lengths, but the curvature of the surfaces does not lend itself well to preserving the continuity between the surfaces. So that's a good reason why I need to extend these out at different rates or at different times, if you will. I'll extend maybe just two of them out for the time being, and then just as before, as I've been doing all along, loft between a couple of edges, and I get a contour that is good enough for creating uh, the necessary runoff. Okay, before I start turning this into a solid block, one important thing I may want to do is simplify the ends. I mean, after all, I dragged uh, this contour out a little bit far, and I might want to tri trim that back. So one way that I think is very quick for doing that is to establish some kind of a reference plane in space claim, 
and it doesn't matter where I put it because that move tool gives you complete flexibility for taking anything on the screen that you have and shifting its location or rotating it with this easy to use move, uh, move handle that you just saw. This combine tool, this is such a great tool for chopping up bodies and it knows that I need to get rid of that excess so it puts me in a mode of doing just that. Now as for the contour on the right hand side, you know I may elect to use something of a curve instead of a planar surface for getting rid of, uh, for trimming that back and making it look a little more clean. So I'm going to the bottom side, I'm looking at this from the bottom view, and when I say curves I really meant just maybe a couple of lines uh, that I could draw in. Uh, just lines that are a couple degrees apart, so they look like roughly, you know, eight degrees apart. But once I draw those lines, again, I go back into this pull tool, and keep in mind, I'm pretty much using the four main tools of Space Claim to accomplish all this, mostly the pull tool. So, I've created that surface body, which I'll use to chop up my tooling or the surface representing my tool and get rid of the excess and now I've got a clean edge that I can work with. Alright, so we're just about done, we're getting close. I may want to, at this point, go ahead and grab all the edges around the perimeter and pull on those. I'll select that Z axis because that's the direction I want to pull in and what you'll see is I'm creating all four sides of what's going to be my block in a moment. It doesn't matter how far down I pull them, I just need to get them somewhere past where the bottom of this is going to go. Grabbing a couple of other axes, it's simple to start another sketch. And the, and the base of this could be anything you want. Maybe a couple of contoured lines put together, but I'm going to keep it simple and start off with just a rectangle. Alright, so when I pull on this, I need to make sure I extend past the surface bodies and one thing to do before I turn this into a solid, the solid block, the tool will not have holes in it. Those are just a function of what was uh, carried over from that surface body. So I may elect to fill those in. This fill tool is great for defeaturing uh, de de models. You saw me use it on edges earlier to simplify them. In this case, it just deletes them completely. It deletes these holes and I'm done. So here we go. Now it's time to turn this into a solid block it's as simple as using the combine tool, taking that surface and solid body, it merges into a solid block just like that. It's simple to resize this any which way you want to using these simple tools that I've been working in the entire time. Let's change the color so you can see the difference between the two. We'll just call it maybe orange. And there you have it. There's your tool for your workpiece with maybe with the adequate runoff needed, but you could always extend those edges out further but hopefully you get the idea. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have found this beneficial to see how the simple tools in Space Claim can let you take a very common task that may take much longer to do and turn it into something that's five to ten minutes long. Thanks again for watching.